What? What lemon? What lemon? This is lemon. <laughs> Welcome to why you cook with Bombay lemonade. I'm so sorry. I've been MIA. Today on why you cook with Bombay lemonade, we are making baji or spinach dal split peas and some rice. So baji dal rice, dal rice and baji. Let's go. In your pot, go with some high heat. Is this the right burner? Yeah. Go in with your water. Pani, 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 pani. <laughs> I like the Ghana style doll. This is a yellow doll. In there, it's a very been. I already gave them a rinse. Go in there, mama. I'll get all, get all your doll. All doll, get all doll, or you go fall. From now on, this is how we're cutting stuff, okay? I'm gonna handle it cutting board right now. One small onion, you're gonna chip it up into your dal. Whoops, no make mess. This, I just feel like this is the, the right, the name is make the food taste like nice when you do it like this. Okay. I like my dal spicy, so four weary, weary pepper. I got four clove of garlic into the dal. One tablespoon of turmeric or dye in there. You know what, let's do one and a half. Some ground jeera, half a tablespoon. Ground jeera, roasted ground cumin. Some salt. Go heavy with the salt now because um, once this thing boil, when you add salt later, it won't be the same. You gotta go good with some good salt for this dal bile. Okay? For a little trick that I learned to keep your dal nice and silky when you um, swizzle it up after, is you go into a little margarine or butter. Um, I'm using vegan. Uh, plant-based, what is this, margarine? I'm using this. It's uh, vegan, lactose, and gluten-free, okay? Yum, yum a mix. Okay, now I'll start for bile hay. You see this froth of farm hay? This is from the turmeric. Turmeric. You can um, scoop them out when you're ready and rub them on your skin. No, I'm just kidding, don't. You can scoop it out and throw it out after you stir it and you're gonna put it low. And keep an eye on this, dal this bile over. I am notorious for boiling over dal. Uh, one thing that I find helps if you put a little bit of oil in here as well, it'll help the dal not boil over. But I already put the, the butter in there, or the, the margarine, so I don't want to put oil. While this is boiling, I have a prep baji. I clip out the ends that's discolored. I already started because me and the cut baji from camera whole day. Right? And then boom, look like this. Keep it fairly big because one thing about spinach and baji, you can cook so much, but when you're done, you're left with so little bit. And you go, poo baji hold. All week you're gonna poo baji green green. Okay? Chip them up. Chip up your baji. What you doing, my chip baji? <laughs> I remember when we were small, my grandma, my granny, she used to watch John Judy and have she bowl and she lap and chip up baji and bora like this. So, this is how I learned to chip. Now cut your finger. And that's all my baji there, chip up. Wow. Baji, cook quick. The longest you want to cook baji is 15. That's even too much. 10 minutes. You know, some people overcook the baji. I got sauje, sauje. Mushy, mushy. You don't want that. You lose all your nutrients. You want the baji nice. You can look like Popeye. So the doll has been going for about 15 minutes. Clean out the side of your pot, okay? Good, but yeah, the doll looks good. Well, enough to cover the bottom. Get a pot spoon. Where is the pot spoon? There is the pot spoon. One medium onion, roughly chopped up, sliced here, in there. About four to five cloves of garlic and five weary weary peppers in there. I am good. This is optional. I like doing this. I get my ground cumin, my jeera, about a teaspoon. In there, a little water. You want to the born up. Your baji, go in with your baji. Okay, it looks like a lot, I know, but once, uh, you'll see, you will see. Depending on your stove, medium or low, cover it, left them for five minutes. I don't have a dal gutney or a swizzler, so I take a potato masher, and I start mashing up my dal. It's soft, not as soft as I want it yet, but break down those onions, those um, weary weary peppers, mash up that dal, and if you have uh, the immersion blender, you can use that. I just have this, so I use this. 
And then I'll, afterwards, I'll go in with a whisk to break down all those uh, little pieces that I couldn't get with this. Okay? Masha, masha, masha like a mash. This is good for your bicep. Gym them open now, them open at gym, but if you want extra bicep, walk out, mash your doll with one um, potato masha. Mash, mash. If you mash your doll, it will get tall. If you prefer to do it in a um, pressure cooker or a pressure pot, by all means, go for it. Me like for buying the doll. You want to mix up all them onion, the jira, the cumin that you put in there, the peppers with the spinach. You can see it's starting to wilt down, so it's losing its size. Bajé, bajé. Go in with some salt to your taste, however you like it. You can use coconut milk. I'm using the pure cream coconut. Only a half. Stick it in there. And let it break down with your bajé. With the earthiness of the bhaji, the spinach, and the creaminess of the coconut cream, it's to die for. You're gonna love it. You wanna make sure this coconut uh, cream breaks down. You don't want clumps of coconut cream when you're eating your bhaji. So the coconut cream has broken down. Now I just wanna get rid of some of this water is what I wanna do now. Okay? Another two minutes, I'm gonna let this water boil out and then my bhaji is done. Look how beautiful and green that is. Oh my God, you wanna keep it as green as possible. You don't wanna overcook it, like I said. 15 minutes maximum, but that even is a bit too long. 10 minutes for this, okay? Maji done. I'm gonna I'm dish it up because I don't want it to overcook, okay? So not your heat. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. If your house don't smell like a wedding house yet, then you did it wrong. Your house should smell like wedding house with this dal and baji with your cookie. That's my beautiful baji right there. Now spill them, be careful. Uh, before I chunk it at all, I'm gonna give it a whisk. Like I said, I don't have a Swizzler. I have an immersion blender, but I find, why take that out when I could just do this? That butter that we added in earlier is what's going to help make this doll nice and smooth and silky. I want it a little bit thinner. I'm going with a little bit more wata. I prefer my doll watery. It is flowing between the rice very nice. When your doll is watery, it is flowing the rice very nice. You see? Now to finish it off, we are going to chunk it. Or also known as tempering. A couple tablespoons of uh, oil that you prefer. I'm going in now with uh, my whole jira seeds. Um, I'll go in with a tablespoon and maybe a tablespoon and a half. You're gonna know they're ready for the next step once they start coming afloat to the top. Okay, so this is starting to smoke up. Let me go turn to open the door. Hold on. Five to six garlic cloves slice very thinly, your smoke, smoke alarm might go off, okay? Be careful, be careful here, okay? Throw that in there. And this is called tempering, or the chunky. You wanna get this uh, garlic very brown. The reason that you don't add the garlic with the uh, jira right away is because it'll burn too quickly. You want the jira to cook, or the cumin to cook, then you want your garlic to brown. Be very careful. Okay, when I, I'm, I'm stressing being careful because this thing does flare up a lot, okay? And you know what, bored up yourself. Here, let me show you. You see that? Mohini, you know what, I'm bored Mohini. Mohini is here, I hope she doesn't bored. Slowly, go low, watch your face. <laughs> you see what I mean? Slow, slow, because it will buy up. And make sure your doll is off because it will boil over. And then, get all that goodness out. Good job, we didn't start a fire, oh God. I didn't burn her, I love her. I got more of a girlfriend. It's been closed for about five minutes. I washed up on my dish and thing. Cause me not they here for wash dish, right? Open, and what I like to do, you can use your gut knee, you can use your immersion blender. I'm using my whisk, cause that's what I have on hand right now. Yeah, one more whisk. So that's my doll. My baji, my rice are cooked there. Why you cook? And look who come just in time when food done cook. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> she come home to dinner. Dog rice and baji. That looks good. So this is the finished product. My baji, my rice, and then you're just gonna pour your dal over that. Look how beautiful that looks. Dal rice and baji on why you cook with Bombay lemonade. Let's give it a taste now. And just in time to taste this. The rice and baji. It's nice to come home to hot food. You see? Oh. How it is? 
good dollar me. Very good. I like the badgie. It's not overcooked. Healthy looking. See, vegan and vegetarian. And the dog tastes really, really Thank good. Thank you. Spicy and nice. So we like it. Close to my food. Close, you yeah. see? <laughs> Wedding house food. Dollar and some badgie. Thank you for watching. Where you cook? Bombay lemonade. I'm about to eat some now. Yeah, bye. 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 bye.